Hi, I'm Dr. Ange. Over on Childline's Instagram, we asked you what questions you'd like to ask a doctor about anxiety. And today I'm going to be answering some of them. So question number one, what is anxiety and what causes it? Anxiety is a feeling of stress or worry, usually brought on by a particular situation. For example, an exam or an audition. It's important to remember that it's a completely normal feeling and we all get it. And more importantly, it's temporary and is something that we can overcome. However, for some people, their anxiety can be severe. It can happen for no particular reason or take them by surprise or stop them enjoying and doing the things they normally do. Some people also get physical symptoms as well. And this is when it becomes a problem that needs sorting out. These all happen because the body's normal stress response goes into overdrive and this then starts to cause problems. But it is possible to learn or get help on how to control it. Question two, do you have any tips or advice to cope with anxiety within different situations, for example, in public or at school? Well, there's no one magic answer to dealing with anxiety and people who suffer from it may find different things helpful. So find out what works for you. But generally speaking though, firstly, never be embarrassed or ashamed and don't panic. Normally the feelings of anxiety will pass and you will feel back to normal again. Secondly, try doing things to keep yourself calm or distract yourself from what you're feeling. But try not to avoid the things that are making you anxious as that can make it worse in the long term. And thirdly, talk to those people around you and tell them how you're feeling and get help if you're really struggling. Question three, are there physical symptoms with anxiety? Yes, there absolutely can be, and they can be quite varied from person to person. Anxiety can cause physical symptoms like sweating, a feeling like your heart is beating really fast, feeling sick, headaches or stomach aches. Some may even find that their tics or stammer gets worse too. Question four, What's the difference between anxiety and just feeling anxious sometimes? Well, it's important to remember that we all feel anxious sometimes. It's normal and we can deal with it by ourselves. But when those feelings are really severe, don't get better easily, happen for no reason at all, or start to prevent us from doing the things that we need to or enjoy, then it may actually be an anxiety disorder, which you may need to talk to someone about. Question five. How do you speak to your doctor about mental health without feeling embarrassed? Well, you never need to feel embarrassed when you are talking to your doctor about anything at all. Remember, we've seen it or heard it all before and we are there to help you. If you do find it hard to describe how you're feeling or get across what you're going through, then it may help to take someone with you or write it down first. Question six, what happens after you're diagnosed with anxiety? Now, you may be given several options in how to deal with it. If it's not too serious, then you'll be advised on how you can try to manage it yourself. You may also be put in touch with other groups or charities that could help you with this. If you are really struggling though, then you may be offered a talking therapy or possibly even medication to see if they help. Question seven, how do you deal with panic attacks? Panic attacks are like an extreme version of anxiety and can happen suddenly and be quite overwhelming. The most important thing to remember is that they will pass and you will feel better. So keep yourself safe. Also, look up a technique called grounding, which some people find really helpful. And as always, if they are really bad, then make sure you speak to someone and get help. Remember, it's not your fault and you can overcome it with the right support. If you are struggling to cope, visit Childline's advice pages to find out more and get support.